By a majority, we approve measures to go ahead with the pre-trial proceedings against Otto Perez Molina, President of the Republic of Guatemala. A unanimous vote of lawmakers present in Congress to strip Guatemala's president of his immunity. Even members of Otto Perez Molina's own party voting against the head of state. An unprecedented step as the president faces a far-reaching corruption scandal. Outside Parliament, the vote greeted with satisfaction by hundreds of demonstrators. Since the scandal erupted in April, protesters have taken to the streets demanding the president be removed from office. I think for the first time the Congress has done what the people want. We all want the president to be judged. This president who's shown himself to be incompetent. Guatemala's president is suspected of involvement in a scheme that defrauded the state of millions of dollars. Prosecutors and a UN commission uncovering a bribery ring to avoid paying customs duties. But just a day before the vote, President Perez Molina continued to protest his innocence. I can tell you I haven't received a cent from this fraudulent system, which was basically robbing the Guatemalan people. Despite being banned from leaving the country, President Perez Molina remains in office as he vows to fight the case against him. But the scandal has already rocked the government, forcing multiple cabinet resignations, while former Vice President Roxana Baldetti is currently in jail, awaiting trial.